Now in the van, up to the Skirid for a bit of a hike. We really want to get those good views at the top. Yo, yo, Guys, yo. in. We're in. And we're off. This is absolutely Yain's neck of the woods. About 20 minutes from his house and this little mountain's got a bit of history behind it so he's going to give us a history lesson as well as we go. It's pretty warm today and for those who are worried about the dogs I was I was considering not taking them but Yain assured me that it should be fine. Yeah. We've got two litres of water for them, most of this hike is in the shade and we've got a keen eye on their welfare so. Yeah it's fine. These doggies are made for running uh, and we take them out in the heat all the time. It's not a big deal. Um, if they did start to get overly hot and start panting, we could take them back down pretty easy. And I got plenty of water to pour all over them, so it's no big deal. Very good. <laughs> Stop for a little water break with the girls. Just going through all this forest. Nice guy. Bringing up the rear. He likes to think he's fit, but us girls, we got him. Taking it slow, people. We're just about to head out slow. into the next, the next section of the trail. Come Super in. excited to get to the top. And Sit. a day like today, the views are going to be amazing. So, whew, see you at the top. <laughs> Stunning. This is where I wish I had the mega zoom, the big lens. The farmers are out bailing, making hay. While the sun shines. While the sun shines. That is super zoomed in your face. <laughs> Does, it look good? Go. <laughs> Does it look good? Does it look good? <laughs> For all you health and fitness nuts like me, check out these bad boys. What are those? <laughs> <laughs> in all seriousness though, uh, these are my Vivo barefoot shoes. I injured myself quite a long time ago uh, and I've been doing a lot of barefoot kind of running, walking ever since. Uh, and these are their like trail shoes. They have the grips on the bottom and they make a massive difference. I do pretty much everything in kind of barefoot style shoes now. Um, and they really, really help, have helped me. So they've got, the, they've got the grips on the bottom, but they're yes. essentially completely barefoot. They have no heel to toe drop. Um, there's no like padding or cushioning. So it's just allowing my feet to work as they should. Uh, but they've got enough of a sole that it stops all the stones and the rocks and like spikes stabbing into your feet, uh, which is perfect. It's pretty much just what you want. You um, sponsored me. Uh, if not sponsored, but if Vivo Barefoot want to uh, send us a new pair of shoes, you they know, can, I've had these for about two and a half years now, so I can do with a new pair. Slide into his DMs, Barefoot. <laughs> send it, send it in the back. Wrap it, wrap it. <laughs> See that bit there? Yes. Not the top, let's go. <laughs> So, story time with your host, Yian Jones. That's me. This is the Skirid. We're walking up today. Check out the views. What do you mean is this? Check out the views. <laughs> <laughs> but did you know this mountain is also called the Holy Mountain? 
after the crucifixion of Christ. Apparently the mountain was so uh, enraged with a big uh, lightning bolt, struck the mountain, split it in two, and so now you've got the little skirid and the big skirid. There's like two mountains next to each other. I say two mountains. One big mountain and a little tiny one next to it. What they think actually happened um, is back in the Ice Age, there was essentially a small landslide and part of the mountain slipped off and then stopped moving. And it's now stationary and you've got these kind of like two mountains with a hollow bit in the middle. It looks like they're like perfectly aligned. Um, so yeah, fun fact of the day from your boy. That is the little scary. And that's the big one. Nearly there, nearly at the top. Would you look at that? Made, made it to the top. It. Yeah, we made it! We made it! Ah, this is the top. Okay, we got the view. Mm. Imagine we had a drone, this is what it'd be like. <laughs> yeah, what an absolutely stunning hike up. You can see the view probably the whole way around. It's actually not a bad walk, so if you are ever down in this sort of area of South Wales um, and you don't fancy walking like a crazy hard walk up to the top of a mountain, um, there's a nice car park at the bottom of Skirid. We'll try and like link the, the route we did today. Um, we'll drop some links and stuff. Um, but it's a pretty nice easy walk. The only kind of slightly steep bit is the first part where you come through the forest but you're in the shade, it's fine. There's loads of places where you can stop. Um, and then you've just got this kind of walk to do at the end, which is nice and flat. And you get to the top and it took us what? 40 minutes, an hour maybe? But it's really rewarding. And yeah, you get this panoramic view at the top. You can see the little skirt. This mountain's obviously got loads of history as well. Um, so if you do want a slightly challenging but not too hard one to do with a nice reward at the top, this is, this is your one. And some crazy doggies. <laughs> Yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, we'll uh, yeah, we'll link the route in the bottom. You can see all the mountains over there. So that's all of the Black Mountains. Me and Heather have done a bunch of hiking. Then if you pan around to the left, you'll see this kind of spiky one just in the distance. That's the Sugarloaf, so we can walk up there as well. And then if you keep coming left, you've got more of the Black Mountains to go around. And then if you do a full circle, all, all the way over here, my house is just over there, just at the bottom of one of those hills. Mm. Quick snack. I love the countryside, but stuff like this needs to stop. People who take the dogs out decide to seal up their poo and just leave it in places like this. It's just not on, mate. It's just not on. <laughs> After our big long hike up the hill, we've decided to come down to the river. This is my local river. This is the River Mono. Uh, it's just down the road from the house. So we thought we'd come down and have a splash. We've got some of the guys, the rest of the guys from the family down here. Asked uh, so me and Heather bring the two doggies because they needed to get in the water, cool down after the after the big old climb up the hill earlier. So we thought we'd come down for a splash around and a swim. Have a nice cool off before we drive back because we've got to get ready for work. Well, Heather's got to get ready for work.
with swimming doggies. Can you describe your swimming one word? Uh, fresh. <laughs> Yeah, we just finished having a nice little swim in the river, Absolutely got the dogs nice and wet. Exactly what we needed after climbing the skirt this morning to cool down. So yeah, it was lovely. Yeah, the doggies had a nice little swim. We're, uh, that's pretty much us for today. Uh, we're just going to head back now. We've got to get back for work. Heather's got to get ready for work tomorrow. But... Stay tuned for the game fair next week. We've got a stall. So all next week, Jan's going to get ready to head down next weekend. Yeah, we're heading down to the game fair next weekend. I'm going to be there with the smoking barrels and the business. Um, so we'll do a whole video of the entire weekend uh, and all the stuff that we get up to. And if you are there, come visit us on the stand. Come and visit us.